Ew. <laughs> oh. Listen long, long enough, you can love me. Good afternoon, everybody. Today is Thursday. What's today? Thursday, March 17th. And today we're gonna to be doing another Amazon wig review. Wig review, like what's going on? Girl, I can't get the words out. You girls looking real regular. Not that regular because I knew I was gonna be getting on camera so I threw on some eyebrows and some lip gloss and some lip liner. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna be doing an Amazon wig get ready with me. With this Amazon wig get ready with me, we're going to reveal what this wig look like. I bought this wig for like 60, I'm gonna give you all the details when we sit down and start to get ready with me, but it is a kinky straight wig and it's an affordable kinky straight wig. In the meantime, we're gonna be getting fully ready because it is St. Patty's Day. It's 70 something degrees outside and I'm trying to get outside. I'm trying to be outside, I'm trying to play. This wig is gonna be customized and thrown on sight unseen. A full look, I wanna see what I can do if I can freak her or not. So let's go, let's go into the room. I already have my tea, where's my tea? So. Okay, girl, you got me in my PJs, honey. We're in our PJs and we're ready to play. Let me lower this seat. Shout out to Amazon for my seat. Amazon is the plug, ain't it? I didn't even write down any details on this wig. I just looked online, was like kinky straight, lace closure wigs. I think that's what I looked up. I found this wig and I just bought it. So I paid $62.99 for this wig. This is a 12 inch kinky straight lace front wig and it's from the brand Oh dear, and it's a four by four lace closure. So let's go ahead and open her up. So this is what the packaging looks like. Girl, I don't know what brand this is. It says FA hair on here, but then it was oh dear. Girl, I don't know. Ooh, girl, that smell pescatarian. <laughs> it's giving deep sea. Oh my God. So here's the wig. And they provide you with a wig cap. And what else? Um, a little pamphlet with like frequently asked questions and stuff like that. Return policies and all of that and how to care for the wigs. That bag, girl, it, it don't smell good. So this is the baggie that the wig comes in. It is a, like it said, it's a four by four. It says four by four lace front wig, kinky straight. So let's open this up. Let's open her up. Ooh, these knots need to be bleached, honey. So this is 12 inches. 12 inches of hair. So I got the kinky straight in a short sort of texture. Now on the inside, like I said, this is a four by four lace closure wig. So it has three combs, adjustable straps in the back. And this is the closure. It's a really light, light closure. That's not gonna ma match my skin tone. So I'm gonna have to tint the lace. Also, I'm gonna have to, am I gonna bleach these knots? I don't know. And when I'm looking at it, like on the closure, the hair is real short. Like, look at that. Girl, what we gonna do with these? I feel like I really wanna bleach the knots, like real, 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 real bad. But I don't know if I feel like taking all the time to do that. I don't know. So let's just go ahead and get started. We are gonna try and see if we can freak this wig. As far as the smell, the bag smelled fishy, but this doesn't. It smells like hair. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. It smells like hair. Now let's see if I can make her cute without having to do too much to the wig. I'm gonna try it on for y'all so y'all can see what it looks like. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's put on this base. Why am I sweating? <laughs> am I nervous? And it's probably cause it's hot and this chair is pleather. So I put on the wig grip and my wig cap. This is my ball cap method, boom, bam. That's it. Let's go ahead and plop on the wig. I'm gonna see what the wig. Oh, you see that, girl? She gonna take a little work. Look at this hair in the front. Why is it so short? Why is it so short? We gonna make this work. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta, I gotta do this for the gram. Follow me on Instagram, girl. <laughs> no, freaking ma'am. Oh, they messed up. Oh, I don't even know if I wanna work on this. I'm gonna make some shake though. Let's go ahead and get started. Let me go ahead and. So we're gonna pluck, cut, style, do all of that, 
and then see what we end up with. And I'm gonna have to wear this tonight. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it. I want y'all to pray for me. Pray, bow your heads, pray for this wig because I paid 60 some dollars for this. Oh girl, this may be bad. We'll see what we get. Okay, so we're gonna start out by looking at this lace and girl, I feel like I got my work cut out for me. I started out by plucking the hairline. Y'all know how I do. I always pluck the hairline first. And I feel like I made a mistake and y'all will see that later with me plucking the hairline, but I did pluck it. And what I noticed is that this hair on the closure especially is dry and it's brittle and it seems to break off a bit. So yeah, I was trying my best, trying to do what it do. But once I was able to pluck it, I realized I needed to go ahead and do my base. Now, I don't know if y'all have seen me do this before, but when I have closure wigs, I like to give the impression of a frontal because what really happens when you wear a closure wig, closure wig is that basically it just look like you drew on your hairline when you don't do the baby hair method first. So I'm laying down some baby hairs to make it look a little bit more realistic and more like a sew-in and less like uh, a hat on the sides. So we just did the little baby hairs and next I'm gonna go ahead and bleach the knots. I'm going to use the Shimmer Lights uh, bleach, powder bleach as well as a 30 volume developer. And we're gonna mix that together until it's more like a toothpaste sort of texture. And I'm just gonna go ahead and paint it onto the closure. Please don't mind the clothes on the floor in my background, girl. I ain't clean up my room yet, so what? <laughs> You didn't either. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint that onto the closure and let that sink in. Like what I like to do is make sure I add a timer and I do it for about 45 minutes, but I start to get impatient because these knots were really, really dark. So I used some foil and I actually added some heat to it, probably a mistake because as you can see, there's like little I'm pointing at the screen like y'all can see me, but there's like little spaces there because some of the hair actually fell out. And I don't know if I said this in the video, my final thoughts, but the hair fell out. The hair was really, really brittle. It actually didn't end up looking bad at all. You couldn't tell, but the hair was weak. So I had to be careful. Now that the hair is drying, I already washed, washed out all of the bleach and I'm letting it dry on my wig head and I'm using the flattening souffle from ZLA while the hair is wet and I'm flattening the hairline just to make sure that front part is flat. It makes the wig look so much better. So um, while this wig was on this wig head dryer, I decided that I was gonna go ahead and let it dry first before I even use the hot comb, but I use the Tresemme, what is this, Carrington Smooth, heat protectant and I use the hot comb just to straighten out some of the texture in the hair. So I did that and it really didn't do a lot and that's when I realized this hair was pretty stiff. She's pretty dry. So we're just gonna go ahead and move forward and try to apply her and see if we can make it better, honey. So I used my, did my regular base method. You know, it's the lazy um, ball cap method. I just use a wig grip and a wig cap and we're just gonna go ahead and plop on the wig after tinting the lace. Girl, I'm a little bit behind, girl. This takes, ooh, I move so fast. So I did tint the lace using the Calendaric Lace Tint Spray, and next we're gonna go ahead and flatten the hairline. So I'm going to use a wax stick from ZLA, and I'm just gonna add it to the hairline, and I'm gonna flat iron the hair flat. Now, do you see how this hair is sticking up at the top? It's giving um, broken off leave out. That's what it's giving. It didn't look good, but I will say that the hairline did flatten well. Like it looked good at the like at the roots, but at the ends it was giving. I haven't gotten a trim in three years. I mean, it just really didn't look good. So I just continue to flatten, keeping hope alive. That's what I was doing, flattening, keeping hope alive. So we're just gonna keep flattening using the wax stick. And it didn't seem to stay flat either. I probably should have used the mousse all through the uh, closure, but I just, I, I didn't do it, girl. So we're still flattening. And once that was able to flatten, I, I was able to flatten the hairline backwards as well. And it looked good. I was actually satisfied with how the hairline actually looked. I was surprised 
that it looked this good because I thought I created a bald spot on the hairline. But after we do all of that, of course, we need to go ahead and cut this lace off because we don't walk around with lace visors on our head. So I'm using my Annie shears and I'm just going to go ahead and cut off this lace. And I'm doing the zigzag method because that's what makes the lace closures especially. It makes it look real, real, real good and realistic. I'm going to go ahead and apply the wig using the ORS olive oil gel, wig grip gel. And I'm just going to paint that on using a mask brush. And we're just going to blow dry that dry until it sticks and it's stuck. And next, we need to go ahead and make sure I do like three steps. I'm going to use the ORS what is this spritz gel just to go ahead and really melt this lace in and I feel like it makes the lace look like more melted to your forehead so I added that as well and then on top of that I used the ORS spray and I like to use that to flatten the hairline backwards to make it look like really flat and I'm just going to use a satin scarf girl I ran out of the rapid strip so this is what we have to use I let that sit for about 15 minutes. As you can see, she is flat Tiana. You hear me? It looks good. I was actually like, um, come through lace. Their lace isn't bad. It's a little thick and dry, but it's not bad. But in order to cover up that really visible track, I had to use a um, the baby hairs just to cover it up and smother it. But it still was sticking out. I don't know why they had it sticking out on the side, but there's a way to fix it. But it was just really like an obvious track. I don't know why it was playing hide and go seek with me and it was getting on my nerves. But I was able to cover it up by using the baby hair method. And I did kind of pluck them out because I didn't want them too thick. But I only did two baby hairs and it kind of did the trick. The only way you see it is if you were too close to my face. And I'm sorry, we're social distancing. Don't get that close. Back up. Next, I'm going to go ahead and straighten the hair. So this is where it got real scary for me. <laughs> Cause girl, I'm using my T3 Smart Iron or T3i Smart Iron. I love this flat iron and I had it turned all the way up on the highest degree to see if I could straighten it out and get more of that silk press sort of look. I don't know why I thought I could do that. It straightened pretty well, but mm, y'all will see later what it looked like because mm -mm, no ma'am so while I'm straightening it I feel like it looks good but I'm noticing as you can see like the hair when I pull it out of the clips it's kind of like just sticking out I said oh baby this hair is dry oh girl she needs some water she don't need heat she needs water the hair was really really dry but I continue to flatten it out I'm going to go ahead and let y'all watch me flatten it and we're going to we're going to see what happens after this. So I just go through completely through the head and flatten it. So let's flatten it together. And I'm going to show you where I was trying to salvage this hair. Because, whoo, girl, girl.
so this is a lesson and when it's fine just leave it alone leave well enough alone but you know me I'm ignorant and I feel like I just gotta make things better this was fine this was okay it wasn't great but I was like oh, okay this just looks like it looked boring to me and I was I was going for a more exciting look so I decided to try and curl it um a little bit and the hair curls but it like gets hard that's why I think there are synthetic pieces in it because it was getting a little bit like hard the more I curled it so I was like you know what I just need to make it shorter that's the problem let's make it shorter so I decided to chop her up a little bit more and go straight bob um and that's it was looking real boxy and boring so of course I'm curling it trying to see if I can make some shake and that didn't work either so this is when I was like okay so the hair is stiff so it's not moving so like it's giving helmet it's giving like this is to protect my head like it's not it's not looking soft why did I bang on the table I'm frustrated because it could have been cute I think the hair quality just wasn't there um but I think I should have left it like this because it actually didn't look that bad but in my head I was thinking like uh this could be better so this is when <laughs> this is when it took a turn <laughs> and I was like okay um I decided you know what I'm about to make it a side part that's what it is it should be a side part <laughs> so I decided to invest my time in making it a side part which when I'm looking at it it's just the hair on the closure was just too short to allow me the the amount of uh what do you call it the amount of versatility that I needed to make this wig look cute because even if it was stiff you could still make it look cute even if it don't move it don't move but it don't gotta move to be cute you know what I'm saying it would be good if it moved but so I decided that I was gonna make it a side part and this is where it got real um auntie first pew you know what I'm saying <laughs> it got real first pew um when we got here so I decided to curl it away from the face and just go for the Oprah look I mean Oprah would never though because her hair used to move it was everything to me but um this is where we went I think uh, I don't think it's terrible but it just gives very much anchor very much first pew very much first lady and I ain't nobody's first lady so um which isn't like a bad look it's just not you know what I'm saying it just wasn't the vibe I was going for so This is where we were left. This is the look of the hair. Y'all tell me what you think down below. Girl, I don't know what's going on. I feel like <laughs> this is the best I could do with this wig. Like, it's just not, it's not giving what it's supposed to have gave. But I don't know what it was supposed to have gave. $60 for this unit. I had to cut off a lot of the ends. It feels dry. Um, 
I like the texture of it. Like when I washed it, it looked really, really nice. But I feel like there are synthetic hair pieces. I've seen in the reviews, that's what people said. And I agree. Like it feels like there are synthetic hair pieces in this wig. And even the ends feel a little bit dry. It's just not doing it. So, I mean, I don't think it's terrible, but it's not the best. I wouldn't purchase this wig again. The worst part about this unit was that the closure was so short. It was annoying. So, it is what it is. I'm just gonna walk out with a little Bobbiana. Let's be on theme. I'm gonna do like some really quick, like my day-to-day -day makeup, which is, I'm gonna do my no makeup makeup look, which just makes me look like really refreshed. Even though my skin looks good right now, I wanna look like super duper refreshed. So this is what I like to do. I was gonna do like a full beat, but this wig isn't giving full beat. She's not giving full beat. She's giving like maybe just Libby beat. You know what I'm saying? Like she's not giving that. So I'm just gonna do that. Oh, I didn't say what it was. So I don't use foundation. So I'm just gonna be using concealer. This is the MAC Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer. I love using this concealer because it um, gets rid of my, it gets rid of my discoloration because it's kind of like an orangey tone, but then it also like covers. This is in the color NW45. My actual concealer color is NC45. And I'm using my Sonia Kashuk um, sponge just to smooth all this out. Just get around the mouth. Oh girl, that's orangey. I'm just gonna do like a light dab of the same concealer except this is in the color in C45 so this is like the cooler tone and I'm just gonna highlight under the eyes a bit so this isn't isn't exactly no makeup oh I had to go all over the nose because I don't know what just happened there <laughs> this isn't exactly no makeup makeup because I typically don't do like an actual concealer. I just do the color corrector. But see, my under eyes are all already brown, brighter. And from here, girl, all we do is powder. It's really, really simple. Are y'all like sick of me using this? I like to use the Black Radiance Golden Almond Finish Powder to highlight under the eyes. And I like to use like a partially wet sponge. So I'm going to use the NYX Bear With Me. Here. Let's get in here, sis. And I like to take the powder and just sweep it under the eyes. Boom. Up the nose. On the forehead. Right here. And on the chin. And I just kind of drag the excess around the face and then for bronzer I use the same brand I'm gonna use the black radiance soft focus powder and I'm gonna use this elf stippling brush oh girl this powder all over this thing girl it's a mess in the color milk chocolate finish there's some loose powder all up over this girl I was a mess earlier today so this is how I just bronze up the face. You see like it's a little bit of bronze, like a little bit of bronzing. Without it looking like I did way too much. And I like to go over the forehead. Just a little bit. Like so, like that. And under the chin. Because we got a chisel. And then I just go beside the nose. 
girl, this is really quick and easy. Mm -hmm. Easy and simple. We're trying to figure out, like, since today is St. Patrick's Day, we don't know if we're going to go and do something. But, like, we ain't Irish or nothing, so... And once this really like melts into the skin, it's amazing. Now for my brows, I've already done my brows and I use this micro ink pen from L'Oreal. Love this micro ink pen. It tints my brows without actually tinting my brows. Like sometimes the pencils just look too harsh on me, especially since I don't wear makeup. I'm about to tint these brows because it's starting to be too much. I don't want to wake up looking like I got to build a brow. So the lip liner I like to use, I love minted lip liners because they're perfect for my skin tone. This is in the color M5. I need to go back. I lost my other lip pencil. It's like a brown. I'm sorry. I'm looking this way because my mirror's over here. Little lip gloss, pretty, pretty. I feel like this is just like a really, like this just looks pretty. Like the hair, y'all my final thoughts on this wig. Mm. I mean, closure, good. The hair was shedding a lot in my bathtub, but I did bleach the knots and I kind of did too much. I added foil, I added heat. I did a lot to it because I was in a rush. So I don't know, um, but as far as like, like the hair just doesn't, I had to cut off so much on the ends because the hair is really thin as well. Like it's really thin. It's just not, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I mm. but if you're looking for like the more realistic sort of look, like this is a wig that I would wear to the office if I had an office to go to. I would say <laughs> she cute or whatever. Like, I think if you get it, you have to get a longer length. Length, And if you get a longer length, you're going to have to cut it because the ends are dry. She wasn't a favorite. I do wish I got like a longer length because this closure being super short just ruined it. If it was longer, then I could have done a bob, but... It wasn't, so I couldn't. I mean, it's fine though, you know? Like, I don't hate it. It's just, I don't, I'm not in love with it. So this is like your review, girl. We found a 60 some dollar wig. If you're looking for something, come on, Coretta Scott King earrings. Come on. But as far as like what the sides look out, look like, this just looks like my hair. Like I did all that work for it to look like my hair, but like better. It's giving like Oprah. Ooh, Oprah. <laughs> Let me get up out of here.